my god, you keep clipping the baby's head into the wall. Why are you doing that? Careful. Aw, this is so cute. Except the baby's head keeps disappearing into the window. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge, where things are about to get a little bit more nightmarish because we're about to have a baby. This is how I feel right now when I think about having an infant in a second. And I actually do mean in a second because we're gonna have a science baby, so it's gonna be here immediately. I think I'll probably wait until like tomorrow morning to do it so we have a little bit more time to prepare. So with science, babies, there is no pregnancy. The baby just comes immediately. You pay for it and then it shows up. I don't really know if the lack of pregnancy is a pro or a con in this situation. Pregnancy kind of sucks, but at least you have like three days to prepare yourself emotionally for an infant in The Sims. But anyway, we are back. We have an almost completely full household. So our goal is to move May out and then to have the baby. But I'm gonna let myself do that in the morning because she's already asleep. <laughs> So I'm not gonna force her to get up or anything. In fact, I might just let everybody go to sleep. Oh, okay, I can't because I'm having an emotional meltdown, apparently. <laughs> Oh, a little bit too close to home again there, friend. Oh, you know what? Dalton is still here. Do you think that we should have them move out now? Is that so terrible of me? It might be kind of bad, but I can just propose in the kitchen and then have them leave. <laughs> I need to have space for my baby. Also, interestingly, someone in the comments pointed out that both of these two Sims have the animal lovers trait. So it's kind of a cute thought that maybe they could go and live in Henford on Bagley or something. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> We're just getting engaged in front of the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said yes. I'm in my pajamas, bunny slippers, proposing to this man. That's fine. Well, congrats, you two. <laughs> I think I might actually kick you out, though. This is just the realities of short lifespan, okay? We are two minutes into the video. Somebody has already gotten engaged and is now <laughs> moving out. Oh my god, wait, look. I just saw Belle's kid is a toddler already. So this is little Van. <laughs> He's so cute. We might have to go and see him. Now that he's a little bit older, you can't actually talk to infants really, but you can talk to the toddlers in game. So we've got more of a reason to go out there and see him. But what I was actually going to try and do was split up the land grab household a little bit so I can steal him. That's a really bad way of putting this, like describing moving my Sims fiance in with her as stealing him. I don't really mean it like that, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Okay, goodbye, May. I'm gonna miss you, like for real. I, I loved you, my little friend, but I also really like having space in my household and less sims to worry about. So this is for the best. <laughs> okay, I am gonna move them into Hemford on Bagley. They both love animals. They're gonna love it out here. Actually, I might even kick this guy out. We don't have to worry about money because he's a land grab. So we can buy whatever we want. That also sounds bad. <laughs> I like use a land grab. They can just buy whatever house they need. Well, congrats, you two. I'm gonna give you some money also so that you're not like sitting here with zero simoleons. And I might put you in a job. Perhaps I'll put both of you in a job. Oh, there's a fox. Garth Foxtrot. Or is it a dog? I'm actually not 100% sure about that one. I think it was a fox. <laughs> there are wild foxes in this world. Okay, I was thinking about maybe May becoming a writer like her mom. Dalton's ambitious. He loves animals. He loves dogs. I might have him just be in the business career. It's kind of giving land grab. Land grab businessman. And I'm sorry, I know that I'm supposed to go out and have a kid. Is that my mom? Oh, hey, Dory. <laughs> <laughs> you should came to help us move in. Oh, that was nice of her. I was gonna say, I know I'm supposed to go back and have a baby, but like knowing they like animals so much, I feel like I should probably get them a dog. Okay, she's vegetarian, so I probably would not pick a dog named Bacon. <laughs> Look at Molly, Bernice Mountain Dog. I'm gonna get that one. I like the name Molly for the dog as well. That's kind of cute. I don't really know about this calling up the adoption agency at midnight thing. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Slightly strange timing. <gasps> Look at the little puppy. Oh my God. Okay, no, we have to get that one. No questions asked. I'm getting Molly. It is now almost 1 a.m. <laughs> okay, I'm getting the dog. I'm gonna take a picture too, because that's so cute. Oh, you can't see it. It's like hidden behind her hair. Okay, well, that was fast. <laughs> we got engaged, moved out, and started a family all in the span of about five minutes. I will get them a couple of dog things in advance because they're gonna want to have a dog bed and a food bowl. We could probably also use some dog toys. If they eventually have children, there is an extra bedroom. So we'll be good to go there. But I think with that, I'm probably gonna ditch you too. So good luck, have fun. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to my house now. I really did like May. I think she's really cool. Again, just the unfortunate reality of playing a short lifespan legacy challenge. We kind of have to just move on. <laughs> 
<laughs> which sucks, but we'll go and see her. We'll see her, we'll see her kids, it'll be good. I also like Hemford on Bagley a lot more than I like Evergreen Harbor, so that also makes me feel kind of sad. I'm a little bit jealous of what she gets to have out there in this beautiful cottage space. Meanwhile, I live in like an industrial shipyard. <laughs> like this is not the most ideal location, but we're working on it. We're trying to improve it. Oh my God, go to bed. Why are you still awake? You know when you leave the lot at nighttime and you come back and like the baby infant's needs are completely down to zero all in the red and like all of your sims are awake? Why? You're making this so much harder on yourselves. You don't have to be doing this. Can I say something really bad? I think I like their dog better than my dog. I love you, Oscar. I'm sorry, Oscar's an elder. I shouldn't have said that. I really shouldn't have said that. That was so bad. Oscar's gonna die and I'm gonna regret my words. What I meant to say was I love Oscar with all of my heart and I did not mean that. Okay, well my sims are kind of starting to wake up. It is only 4 a.m. but I'm thinking I might spend some time now working on the nursery. I had to remove all the stuff that I originally built in the nursery because we didn't have enough money. But now that we're actually gonna have the science baby, I should probably build this now. Because within literally the next couple of hours in game, we're probably gonna have a kid. So let me go through and just buy all of the absolutely necessary stuff. It is gonna be a newborn at first. Oh, that is so cute. I'm gonna use that rug. So we don't need to buy infant stuff yet. It's probably better to buy like bassinets and things, but I'll put a little bassinet in our bedroom. I am obsessed with the rainbow swatch on this. I think that is so cute. And then I'll decorate this infant room in advance because again, short lifespan, it's gonna be a newborn for like two seconds. Is that super weird? It's maybe a little weird, but like kind of in a cute, fun way perhaps. I'm not gonna put a trash can in here. I think I'll just deal with it if there's diapers. There is a bathtub upstairs, so we'll be okay there. Oh, and I'm gonna put this thing. I was picturing myself just putting the little play mat in the living room. I think that's realistic. Like if we were actually having a baby, you'd keep baby stuff everywhere throughout the whole house. I wanna like this, but I don't like the color of the wood. And I also don't think that those are pastel enough. Maybe I'll use the kids room stuff one. Oh, that is significantly cuter. And I can kind of scoot it back into the wall. I like how it kind of looks like we have storage. <laughs> <laughs> even though the room is really, really small. I wanna put one of these little bears, but I think I might have to size it down. I don't know if they work right like that, but I guess the baby can't use them anyway, so we can always change it when it becomes a toddler. There are a lot of books in here. I guess it's grandma is an author, so it makes sense that there would be a lot of books. Oh my God, look at how cute this is. Oh, we have to use that. And then I think I wanna get a rocking chair. I don't know how well it's gonna work. <laughs> I also always put rocking chairs in these rooms and then don't end up using them, but I think that's a cute little layout. It is a small, like emphasis on little layout, but I think it works for what we need. And we barely had to spend any money. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind, can you add the little baby mobile thing? Oh, you are kind of standing in the wall. <laughs> That's okay. Nobody else is awake, so you have to do it, Dory. Sorry. Um, okay. We are currently experiencing a glowing bar. So, uh, <laughs> things are not looking good for our family today. I think she's on her way out. We have to hurry up then. Tinker, I know it's like 6 a.m. Can you wake up and then get some food? Because we have to go have a science baby. I'll let you eat first because I want you to be like fully prepared to take care of the infant when it comes. Maybe you should pee first too. It's like you're going on a road trip and your mom's like, okay, everybody pee before you go. Except for like going to the hospital to buy a little science experiment child. Sorry, that's also a very creepy way of putting it, but that's kind of what's happening. Oh my God, Quinn, you are also not even close to being ready. Oh, you're thinking about the dead cat? Oh my God. If you're mourning Betty, <laughs> you need to get ready, my friend, because you're going to have a a rough day. A rough couple of days. Dory's first and then April's next. Oh, we got promoted. Architectural apprentice. I got an electronic drafting tablet and I can draft a municipal concept. Well, that's fun. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> I've got way bigger things to worry about. It's always weird because when you work from home like that, you can get promoted the next day just randomly when work is supposed to start, which you don't have work today, do you? Okay, everybody's ready. It doesn't matter. I won't go anyway, <laughs> but I am going to have a science baby with Tinker. I love the concept of them just coming downstairs and being like, hey, do you want to have a kid? And then just going. <laughs> Wait, only one of you is going? I figured you would both go. Oh my God. Quinn Tinker will make a quick trip to the hospital and use their and Tinkerbell's genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? <laughs> I'm glad that they clarify that you will get this baby immediately. All right, 1,200 simoleons, worthy investment. Well worth the money. God, <laughs> we're having a baby. <laughs> it's a girl. Okay, okay. So I have gone through the comments of the last few videos and tried to think about what is the best name for this baby. Because with how we've been playing, the name kind of dictates what the generation will 
be like? So there's a few options. I'll tell you what was most commonly talked about. Jingle Bell has been brought up so much. For months, everybody wants a kid named Jingle Bell. I don't think that us having a baby in the fall is like good timing to have a baby named Jingle Bell. And also Daddy Winter is dead, so we can't like marry him or anything. So we might wanna save Jingle Bell for later on to think about later. There's also a lot of talk about Faye Bell and then having them be a writer, like Fable. But we already have a writer, like Dory is a writer, so we could maybe save that for later on. But also maybe it's cute to have the Sim kinda named after their grandma. There's also a lot of talk about Adora Bell because it's like adorable, but that's why I named Dory Dory. Like Dory Bell is kind of meant to be like adorable. So I don't really want to do Adora yet either because it's kind of the same thing. Some of the ideas that I had were K Bell, kind of like maybe an engineer <laughs> after Cable, and Tay Bell, who could maybe be like a handy sim who uses the woodworking skill. I know those are kind of silly too. I personally am kind of torn between Faye and K, so I might literally flip a coin. Heads for Faye and tails for K, okay? And. Faye. All right, the coin is spoken. The comments were spelling it like F-A-E, which I agree is objectively prettier, but would it be better to spell it F-A-Y? Because if we have K, I'll call them C-A-Y, so it might be like a cute sibling thing. F-A-Y-E is also a real name. K, is that okay? C-A-Y-E? I'm really overthinking this. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think I will call it Faye with an E. Faye Bell. Oh my God, and it's not twins. I was actually really worried about that. <laughs> I was I was really getting nervous about the possibility of that. Just so we're clear, by the way, there is no fairy reference with this, all right? I know what people are gonna say. I've got Tinkerbell and I've got Fae Bell now. It's not, there's no fairy pack. <laughs> People just want a fairy pack, so it's on people's minds. There is no news or reason to believe they're actually making a fairy pack. I feel like I should get ahead of that a little bit. Like, I'm not making a hint. There are no fairies. You can look at the comments yourselves. Everybody else said Faye too. It wasn't just me. Oh my god, babies are so wrinkly. That's so funny. I think I might give you a little outfit. Maybe I'll put you in like... Pandemonium? Quack me up? Are those ducks? I think I forgot that existed. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, these are our last ever book royalties, by the way. I think there is no shot Dory lives to get more book royalties. She never finished her aspiration. All her life, all the time she had, she never did it. Also, do you want to come meet the baby in a minute? Because you might die. I would like to have some photos of you together. I think that is important to me. Oh my god, you keep clipping the baby's head into the wall. Why are you doing that? Careful. Aw, this is so cute. Cute, except the baby's head keeps disappearing into the window. Okay, if I look at the calendar real quick, I am pretty sure that literally today is Faye's birthday. Oh my god. Okay, so here's what I'm genuinely thinking right now. I feel like I probably don't want Faye to be the heir just because we already did the writer thing, so it would be weird if we did it again. But also, I'm not 100% decided. Like, we can wait until the next baby is born and, and kind of think more about it then. We don't need to be discussing this or picking it out right now. We don't even know what the Sim's gonna be like. <laughs> she literally has no traits. It is a baby stuck in a box. We cannot make decisions like this long term yet. Oh, you should feed the baby too. Baby care, bottle feed. Would I be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Yeah, I should. We have way too much money right now. <laughs> <laughs> that makes our sim look good too, so that's also a win. I'm curious to look at the family tree now that we have this baby. I'm gonna look at it from baby real quick. It's kind of strange because I brought us in from a different save. This baby is technically gen 12, which is just kind of wild to think about. <laughs> We've been playing in this save for a long time. And don't worry, I didn't forget about Quinn's horse dreams. I, I will get to those. I just kind of wanted to wait until after things had calmed down with the baby first. Like, I didn't really want to jump into having a newborn and a horse at the same time. Are you flirting on the couch? Oh, that's cute. Okay, you need to reach level two handiness skill. Oh, I heard it was someone's birthday today. I brought a cool gift. Yoo-hoo, can I come in? Oh, that's so cute. This is the baby's great uncle. Arthur, if you're not familiar with the series, Arthur is April's twin brother. Obviously, uh, it's been a long time, <laughs> but they, they are twins, these two. Oh, he's gonna come meet the baby. Or maybe not. Oh my God. He said, I heard it was someone's birthday. He's not talking about the baby. He's talking about Dory's Barbie. <laughs> He said I heard it was someone's birthday. Actually, and Dory's gonna die. <laughs> it's not her birthday, it's her death day. Oh, that is cruel. I can't believe he showed up with a gift for this. What is it? I'm scared. A birthday cake. I've never 
ever gotten that pop-up before. In all of my time playing The Sims, I've never seen that pop-up. Since we're family, it'd be really nice if I could move in with you? I mean, I guess he's gonna die. You can move in. You have a cat? Oh, um, I don't have space for that. You know what? First of all, the cat's name is Bronco. Broncos are horses, and my Sim loves horses. So if we are gonna get another pet, it might be kind of cute to take in a family pet. I know it seems like I'm thinking really long-term right now, but realistically, the dog is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> the sim is gonna die, that sim's gonna die, and that sim is gonna die. So we aren't gonna have that many sims soon. We will have nine sims briefly. Oh, I have a mod that makes me have the ability to have 24 sims, but it's not letting me. Well, maybe I'll just take his cat. <laughs> Maybe Arthur is giving me his cat. Oh, this was a huge mistake. Here's Bronco. It hates me? Oh my god. Are you serious? I'm gonna go look at it in cast. This is just- I tried to do the right thing. <laughs> I was trying to save the cat before Arthur died. And now I've got a cat who hates me. So, Bronco is curious, skittish, and territorial. Okay. He is actually kind of cute, I won't lie. I think getting a cat was a good idea. I think this was a, the right call. We're gonna have a rough couple of minutes here probably, so <laughs> I think it was good for us to do this. At least a couple positive things have happened today. I just got this cat and it's already climbing on the counter trying to get into the cake. I should probably buy a couple cat things real quick too. You know what? Let's replace this with a cat tree. We have like the perfect little bump out right in front of a window. I speak from experience when I say my cats would love that. <laughs> so I'll put a cat tree right there. It kind of has the green vibes we want too. And then I guess we can put a litter box down here in the laundry room, which reminds me, I have completely forgotten about laundry. This stuff has been stinking up the place all day and I have not done a single thing to fix it. Let me do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot it was there. Yeah, I told you when I built this house, I think the laundry is going to be short-lived. I was serious about that. I, I just don't see a world where I keep laundry for a long time. Also, at what point do we age the baby up? It says it's its birthday today, but like, do we do it now? Do we wait until tonight? Like, what what's the best time frame on that? I guess I could just wait until the game ages it up? It shouldn't be that long. And then we kind of have more time before the suffering starts, which will be good. Oh, they're hugging. That might be your last time hugging your mom. I'm just saying. I hate this. The waiting for a sim to die of old age is genuinely stressful to me. I hate it. And you didn't even finish the laundry! April, come back. Okay, wash laundry. So that started. You haven't met the baby yet either. Do you want to come talk to it? There's a little poop on the floor right there. How did that get there? Okay, Tinker, I was actually thinking about having you come down here and trying to craft a seed-shaped gemstone because we just got level three, so we can actually do it now. So we should probably do that now while I'm thinking about it because it takes so long to grow. Oh. Look at the dog. Quinn is currently sad about missing horses. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get a horse next episode. You'll be fine. <gasps> the baby disappeared. Oh my God. The glitchiness of this is too much for me to handle. Oh, Nina's home. Oh, Belle wants me to go to her house. I'm not doing that, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nina, you do have to fix yourself. You're kind of struggling right now. The way that she just stands there. <laughs> I say, Nina, you gotta fix yourself. And then she's like, okay. <laughs> just stands where she is and starts self-repairing. Actually, you know what we should do? I just adopted a dog and it's full of energy. Do you have any spare time to help me tire them out? No. Oh, you got a dog? Well, guess what? In our house, we got a baby and an extra cat. This makes me feel guilty. I'll go, I'll go see it. What if Dory dies there? Oh no. No, she'll be fine. Maybe we should go on like a last day's trip to go see all of our kids. Cause then I don't have to see the baby and we can have Dory go out and like talk to this dog, talk to the other grandkid, you know? Cause it's kind of our last chance to do that. <laughs> oh my God, the weather is horrible. Wait, you got another dog? <laughs> Oh, you have two now? She wasn't talking about Molly. She was talking about Brooke, who's right there. Cause getting one puppy at a time wasn't enough. Wait, that's an adult dog. Wait, it just looks like that? Wow, what a creature. That thing is so weird. I love it, I love it. That's so cute. Wait, do a friendly introduction. Captivating canine from a neighbor adopting a furry friend. Well, I don't know about neighbor. That is your child, you know. <laughs> oh my God, I almost got struck by lightning. I'm glad I went inside when I did. Is the dog inside? Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> I don't think pets can get struck by lightning in The Sims, thankfully, so we should be all right. I hate her outfit. I've always hated this outfit. She looks so silly. Give life lesson on love. Oh, that's nice. Do you want to take like one final selfie together before you die? Just an idea. Sorry, I know it's morbid. You're so cute. Okay, well, 
It was nice knowing you. I'm gonna go back to our other kid's house now. I'd like to go and see Belle as well. Hi, Belle. I'm so sorry. Brag about baby. Do you mean baby the sim or baby the actual literal baby? Because bragging about baby the dead celebrity is kind of wild. <laughs> I don't think she's doing that, but she might be. I should have these two take a selfie as well. <gasps> Tenant vacated. No. Oh my god. Oh, it broke. No, I think that's our brother. I can't even see. It broke the pop-ups. Let me check. Oh yeah, Arthur's dead. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but that happened quick. Okay, maybe it's a good thing I didn't let him move in with me because that would have been really bad. Oh, we never finished our rocket ship. Sad days. All right, you come talk to the grandson, little Van, real quick. Who are you? I was wondering why the kid was just standing there alone, but he's not. His mom's right there. <laughs> I just couldn't see her behind the fence. Van just became good friends with Dory. Oh boy. Well, I'll just talk to him for a sec before I go home. I'm getting worried about Dory just dying right now, so I kind of want to go home before we traumatize the child, because worst case scenario is her dying right here. That would be really bad. I'd rather her die at home. <laughs> So let me go back there and we'll just, we'll spend out the rest of her day. I might also need to age up the little one because it's saying that it's that baby's birthday. So it might be time for us to get an infant. Oh no, Dory is really tired. I think she's gonna have to just go to sleep. What is that outfit? Surely I did not put you in that outfit. Did I? <gasps> oh. I only did one of their outfits. Oh my god. Okay, next time we're in Cass, I'm gonna have to fix all that. I was actually wondering about this t-shirt. I was like, that does not seem like something I would have picked. I didn't realize I only did one of Quinn's outfits. Okay, when we go into Cass to do the infant's outfits, I'll do Quinn's too. I just don't want to go into Cass right now because I'm worried about my sims dying. Oh my god, <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. This is actually horrible. She went and died in the nursery. She went and died in the baby's room. Okay, well, <laughs> this is horrible and unpleasant. I just hate this. When my legacy heirs die, we played with Dory for so long too, because she was born like last year. We played the infant update a little bit with this sim. We played on normal lifespan for a long time to go to university. Like this was one of the longest legacy heirs I've ever had in this save because I didn't play with her on short lifespan the whole time. So she was like, <laughs> she, I don't know. She was just one of my more attached sims, I guess you could say. So this is really sad for me. <laughs> oh no, April's waking up. She's gonna go see. Uh, you know what? She started the episode crying. <laughs> She's ending the episode crying. <laughs> this is so unpleasant. Okay, well, let me go put that down in the basement. <laughs> We've got like a collection of urns going down here. I'll make us a fancy bigger graveyard soon. I'm gonna have to upgrade it. I just don't really want to think about that right now. Yeah, I will say this. I'm really glad that Dory got to meet Faye. I'm really glad that we had the baby first before that happened. I think that's like some silver lining in this horrible day. However, the silver lining is gonna be short-lived because April's about to die too. Oh, she went straight downstairs to go mourn. <laughs> Everybody in the house is crying. The baby's crying. The Sims are all crying. Everyone is just distraught over this and I relate. I actually think I might cry. I do want to take a little picture of you and the baby in case I want to save this for the memories. At least the kid's cute. I'm scared. If we have them all go to sleep, I think the baby might autonomously age up in the night. Wait, Nina, you should come talk to the Grim Reaper. You might be able to be his friend. The two of you actually- he's flirty? Oh god. I know that we're dating Vlad right now, but could you imagine if Nina and Grimm had a thing going? I don't know what has gotten into Nina. She used to be so different. <laughs> and now she's out here flirting with all these immortal creepy people. Like, how is your type Vlad and Grimm? Oh, he doesn't like me. Okay, never mind. Sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Don't talk to him anymore. It was, that was a bad idea. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Oh no. Who now? Judd Tinker. Oh God. Someone in Quinn's family? I don't know about the name Judd. Not that that means they deserve to die, but... Oh, it was my brother? Death by anger? Oh no. June passed away. Oh, that was one of our college friends. Marina Mullins. <laughs> oh my God. That's the baby's great grandmother. I haven't seen you in a while. How did you get here? I don't have Marina's grave out or anything. Ew, are there like stinky little butterflies on the laundry? Well, if Marina wants to be here, that's fine. I'm, I won't complain. Emotional meltdown. Oh, she woke up in the middle of the night to have an emotional meltdown. That again, little bit too real. <laughs> <laughs> You're hitting a little too close to home with that. Okay, I think on that note, this is probably a good stopping point for the episode. So next episode, April is gonna die. We just have to be realistic about it. April is gonna die next time. The dog might die too. I'm not sure how old it is. Faye will obviously become an infant and maybe even a toddler. We might have both in one day. <laughs> it's kind of short on short lifespan. Oh, 
Whoa, okay, that was scary. <laughs> um, and then we'll also get a horse. So, um, quite the long list of things to be thinking about right now. <laughs> we have a lot to prepare for, but thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link the playlist here on the end card if you wanna go back and watch the rest of the series, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my god, I'm stressed. I cannot believe that we had all of this go on in just one day. One day!